This video will take you through dynamic keywords insertion for Google AdWords. In this video, I'm going to talk you through a feature of Google AdWords called dynamic keyword insertion. It exists, and a lot of people use it, but it doesn't appear to be officially supported by Google because you can't find out information about it generally on the Google pages. To really get information about it, you would have to go to... Let's quickly go to Google, and you would have to search for... A good search is AdWords Dynamic Keyword Insertion. And you'll start getting some good results, and you can read up on it here. But as I said, you typically won't find out information about it on the Google site itself. That said, interestingly here, there's a page on Google which talks about dynamic keyword insertion, but as you can see, it's a PDF, and it's actually dated 2003, so maybe they haven't actually updated the document since. Anyway, it's worth a look. But what I'm going to do here is give you a quick tutorial. Okay, I have my demo Google AdWords account, and campaign summary is what we want. And let's go to the Dog Secrets campaign, which I just used as a random example. Okay, and ad groups currently paused. Let's just quickly resume that. And yes, it's active now. Okay, let's go into the ad group. And if I go to Keywords, excuse me, I actually want to go to Add Variations. This is where you can add dynamic keyword insertion, and let me explain exactly what that is. Dynamic keyword insertion is automatically adding what somebody has searched for into your text. For example, this is the current advertisement. Let's say someone searched for dog food. If they simply searched for dog food, if you wished, of course, you can create an advertisement with dog food in the headline or in the body text to make it relevant. But if you're dealing with dozens or hundreds or even more different advertisements, it does get quite time-consuming. So a way you can use one ad across multiple keywords easily and still keep it fairly relevant is to use dynamic keyword insertion. For example, let's actually do an edit now. Okay, and now I'm going to use that feature in the headline. I've added the syntax for dynamic keyword insertion, that it works like this. Opening curly bracket, or brace, and then the closing curly bracket, and first it says keyword, and then colon, and then replace default text with what you want to appear if for whatever reason the keyword cannot be automatically inserted. Now, I'm using the example of someone searching for dog food. So, by default, by using dynamic keyword insertion, the headline would become dog food, because if that's what someone is searching for, that's what the headline becomes automatically if you're using that feature. So, let's undo that. Now, here's the important thing. You have to have some default text. If, for whatever reason, the term someone has searched for can't be inserted, for example, if they searched for something that's too long, more than 25 characters, if they searched for, let's say, where do I find great dog food online, that's more than 25 characters and would not fit in, so you couldn't use dynamic keyword insertion in such an instance. So, you would have to have default text set up, and the default text would appear in such an instance. So, for this, Let's take the example that I'm using this advertisement across multiple keywords. I'll have to keep the headline then, the default text, fairly generic. So let's just say for the sake of example, dog secrets. So if someone searched for dog food, that's fewer than 25 characters, so the keyword, the dog food keyword phrase would be automatically inserted and would replace this as the headline. So the headline would appear as dog food. But again, with the example, if someone entered, where can I find great dog food online, which is more than 25 characters, then the default text, which appears here, 
after the colon and before the final brace symbol, that text would appear so Dog Secrets would become the headline by itself. So that's basically how the concept works. What you can do as well is, if you want that first letter of each word that's dynamically inserted to be capitalized, you would have keyword as keyword, capital K and capital W. If you want the first word to be all caps, you would do this, K-E-Y, all caps. If you just have the first letter in caps and none of the other letters in keyword, only the first letter of the phrase would be capitalized. So you may want to play around with different capitalization options. Essentially, you can have all the inserted text as lowercase, every word capitalized, you can have just the first letter of the first word capitalized, like that. Or you can have the first word all in caps, which generally Google frowns on. But for example, if the first word is an acronym, excuse me, let me just cancel that. It's not what I want. Anyway, if the first word is an acronym, then you may want to do that. Keyword or keyword. Or again, using the example of acronyms, if you want everything in capitals, do that. So basically, you want opening brace or curly bracket, and then keyword, colon, and your default text, or the text to be automatically inserted, which is, of course, the phrase that was searched for can't appear for whatever reason. For example, because it's too long, and therefore this needs to be the replacement text. Everything after the colon is replacement text, but make sure, of course, that that's not too long either, and that it doesn't break any of Google's rules for advertisement text. And then closing brace. And again, then, of course, you have different options with keywords. You can have keyword all lowercase so that anything inserted appears in lowercase. The K capitalized so that only the first letter of the inserted phrase appears capitalized the K and the W capitalized so that the first letter of each word in the phrase is capitalized, and you can have it all capitalized so that everything comes in capitalized. And there are a couple more options like that. The first word is capitalized and the other remaining words just have the first letter capitalized, or the first word is capitalized and everything else is in lower case. Okay, as you can see, there are quite a few options and it takes a little bit of getting used to. Again, it doesn't appear to be officially supported by Google, so you'll want to play around with it if you believe it's relevant and see how it works for you. But bear in mind that it's not officially supported, so you may occasionally run into some problems. But on the other hand, if you do want to use this powerful feature, you may find it very useful for your advertisements. And you can, in fact, use this in the headline and the description, in the display URL, and even in the destination URL, so you might come up with quite a few useful ways of applying that feature of Google AdWords.